Flight 592 has crashed into one of the most inhospitable spots on Earth, the Florida Everglades. A large jet aircraft has just crashed out here, large, like airliner size. Need to get your choppers in the air. The Everglades covers much of the southern tip of Florida. Hundreds of square miles of shallow swamp, mangroves, and watery grassland. Just getting to the crash site will be a huge challenge for rescuers. Miami-Dade police helicopters find the wreckage of Value Jet Flight 592 in swampland far from the nearest highway. Federal safety officials say it's the most difficult recovery operation they've ever faced, with wreckage strewn like confetti in a muddy, alligator-infested swamp that can only be reached by helicopter or airboat. The very waterous, marshy area, and that's proving uh, difficult to, to reach people that may, may have survived this crash. Rescuers know that the first hours of this rescue operation are critical. In 1972, Eastern Airlines Flight 401 crashed into the Everglades, three miles from the Value Jet crash site. Several passengers drowned before rescuers could reach them. Yeah, to be in the Everglades uh, after the crash, it was utter devastation, destruction. The smell, you could smell the jet fuel. You could smell the hydraulic fluid. You could smell death. Most of the aircraft has sunk beneath the surface of the swamp. The wreckage was in the Everglades. It's a hostile environment. It wasn't clear at that point how much we'd be able to, to, to learn from the wreckage or be able to recover. We've suited up as best as possible. We first put on that, that Tyvek suit, and then we put on an extra sleeve, put two uh, surgical gloves on, put a pair of work gloves on, and then they duct taped the work gloves to the Tyvek suit. To these two guys to their tanks on. The heavy gear protects rescuers from spilled fuel and other toxins. But below the surface of the swamp lurks an even deadlier threat. They had to have a sharpshooter on top of the airboat at all times. The crash site is a nesting grounds for alligators. As the divers were walking in the water, if somebody sighted an alligator or you know, you'd hear them hiss in the sawgrass, they would take pot shots to try and scare them away. Just hours after the crash, officials come to a grim conclusion. It doesn't look good that there are any survivors. 